What's up you guys? It's Lauren and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bye. 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 So for this week's video, I'm going to be getting lip filler. I'm planning on only doing half a syringe, but we'll see once I get there and see what the PA has to say. I just rhymed, I didn't even mean to do that. I think it's PA, a PA or a RN. One of those, one of those two. I have had lip injections before. The first time I ended up passing out twice, so don't be surprised if I pass out in this video. <laughs> yeah, I think I just pass out because it's just like, I don't know, I don't like needles. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me through the whole process. So the before, as you can see here, the during, and I'm gonna show you guys what happens after. Normally after, they're super swollen. And it takes about two weeks for them to really settle in and look like they're supposed to. So I'm gonna show you guys the two week point. I'm gonna show you guys if I bruise, if there's any bumps, all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna answer basically every question you could have about lip fillers in this video. So here is the before. They're not like super small or anything. I just personally like to have lip filler. They look kind of big right now, but sometimes I wake up and they're a little bit swollen. Here is the before. Okay. Yeah, I was wanting to do like a little pout, like nothing too crazy, still like somewhat natural. Okay, well, I'm gonna do half a serving of Jupiter Ultra XD today. Um, with lip fillers, I will say, um, half a serving is very subtle, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, what you can expect after treatment is that you are going to be pretty swollen. So yeah. swelling is the most intense the first three days. After three days, it goes down, but it does take up to two weeks for your lips to completely settle. Bruising is very common after lip fillers. So bruising typically shows up the next day or immediately after treatment. And generally speaking, it lasts maybe four or five days. Okay. Okay. Um, you can wear lipstick starting tomorrow to cover up any bruises, um, but don't apply any lipstick today. No okay. exercising or alcohol for 24 hours, and also no smoking, um, no exercise, alcohol, smoking, cool. okay, and no lipstick. Um, tomorrow you're good to do those things, okay? Awesome. Lip fillers can last anywhere from four months all the way up to nine months, um, depending on your metabolism. Okay. The lips tend to go away the fastest out of anywhere you inject in the face. And the reason why is because it's constantly moving to talk to me, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if you're a younger patient too, your metabolism is probably a lot faster. So just keep in mind, it might tend to go away a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. um, the more filler you do over time, they start to accumulate and it starts to last longer. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna topically numb your lips really quick. Okay, cool. Are you nervous? I am. <laughs> Um, I'm like really scared of needles. I do have patients that think so. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I'm, I might be one of those patients. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I got some on my tongue. My mouth's gonna, I'm not gonna be able to talk. <laughs> so is it gonna be like the top lip is a little bit bigger? Or are you gonna like evenly distribute it? Or do you focus more on one area? So it kind of depends on what the patient wants. Mm -hmm. um, in general, um, I feel like if I look at your lips, your top lip is a little bit smaller than your bottom. Mm -hmm. Now some people like their, like some people feel like their proportions, they just, I can just evenly distribute it out. Mm -hmm. Or if you're feeling like, hey, I just want a little bit more filler on my top lip, I can definitely do that as well. Yeah. Um, what do you think of? Um, I do, I mean, obviously I want my top lip, lip bigger, but I want it to like be symmetrical. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's like a way to inject it or to kind of highlight, um, Cupid Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely do that. Yeah. I think it's pretty when the Cupid Spell is a little bit more defined. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll definitely go through that. Cool. Okay. Oh, let me just, um... Feel that is strong. It is strong. <laughs> you feel it right away. I'm just going to wipe you with alcohol next. Okay. Sorry, it is going to smell a little bit. Okay. And do you ever smell very big again? And then relax. Okay. So, you don't feel like there's any filler in there left, right? I don't think so. Like I felt around, and I don't feel like any hardness or anything. So okay. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna start on your top lip first. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Do you need a squeeze, squeezy ball, or we can do it there? Uh, I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna start here. Open okay. up your mouth a little bit for me. Are you doing? 
Nunca. Your necklace is super cute. Thank you. I like it. Do you do a lot of um, YouTube videos? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of just got started with it. Yeah. Yeah, just a little pinch. It's not too bad. Right? Do you make ever smile for me? Open up a little bit for me. Smile with your me. I'm just checking for like bumps in the mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like it gets more numb as you go. Mm -hmm. There is actually lidocaine in the syringe itself. I gotcha. So it's a little bit easier um, mm -hmm. the more close that there are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're really tall. I am so tall. I'm 5'8. Five 5'8. Five eight. Mm -hmm. You look taller than that. Mm -hmm. Um, a supplement. It helps with bruising and swelling. Oh, cool. Um, so I typically tell patients um, they can put this on. You can go to CVS, Walgreens, Target. Mm -hmm. They all sell this. Nice. Um, it just helps kind of speed up the recovery process. Okay. It's not necessary. You can go if you want. Yeah. I think I use Arnicare. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you can put that on your lips? I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah I put it on all my injuries and it kind of just like makes the pain leave. Yeah. So you can actually put that on your lips as well. Nice. Um, you can put that, Arnica, or Arnica, um, Aquaphor, Chapstick. Cool. Like just try to stay away from lipstick today, okay? Yeah. And no exercising or alcohol or smoking. Cool. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Small dairy day again? No, you know, nice. That's great. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. It looks so good. Cute, right? Mm -hmm. I put a little bit more filler on your top lip just mm -hmm. to kind of even it out more so at the bottom lip. I, I really like how you define that. It yeah. looks really pretty. It's cute. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. You're and right. I didn't pass out. I mean, I still have to stand up. Great. I was actually a little worried. I was, oh, sorry. I couldn't scare you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I told them all to have to Hey guys, so as you can see, I didn't pass out, which is 
10 out of 10 amazing. I think the first time I was just kind of in shock by the pain and this time I knew to breathe, I knew what to expect, like literally the, the whole video you see me, I'm like, <sighs> cause it was like, that sh hurt, like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, that sh hurt, even with or without the numbing cream, it hurts, beauty is pain, but wow, like, it's just like a bunch of little pinches everywhere, like it's not like unbearable, but it is not pleasant, I will tell you that right now. So I saw Clara, she was amazing. She did such a good job at distracting me. She was asking me about my YouTube channel. I warned her beforehand that I could pass out. Thank Jesus I didn't. I don't, I'm weird. It's just random times when I do it. So she showed me my lips after she did the injections and they didn't look like this. Like just from my five minute walk home, I can see that they are so swollen and as I speak, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. I can feel them like pulsing. So they will go down from the size, but I just wanted something that was super natural that highlighted my Cupid's bow. I think she did an amazing job of shaping them. The first time I went, it was like they would do one injection and then massage my lips. And this time it was like one, two, three, four, five. I said that like I was seeing it. She injected all across my lips. So it was like poke, poke, poke poke and each poke hurt very bad so for the first 24 hours you don't want to put lipstick on you don't want to work out you can't drink alcohol and she suggested that I put arnica aquaphor chapstick on my lips to help with the healing process because um, even after today I could experience bruising bumps swelling the swelling could stay here for about three days it really just kind of depends the pain level I would say on a scale of 1 to 10 is probably a seven I'm not gonna lie I do decently with pain like I can take quite a bit but as you can see in that video I was like like wincing a lot because it really really it just did not feel the best but again Clara was amazing she did everything I want and beforehand if you do a half a syringe and you want more just come back in two weeks and we'll do the rest of the syringe I don't think I'm gonna need more than the half like I'm really happy with how these look right now I like mine looking natural that's just my own personal preference but you do girl if you want bigger lips get the full syringe okay today I specifically use the Juvederm Ultra Plus XC half a syringe as they're injecting the injection that they're putting in your lip I believe has lidocaine in it and so it's numbing so the first few pokes are the worst and then as they go on your lip actually goes numb and you don't really feel them um so it's just those initial pokes where it's like and you kind of just have to wince whenever it happens so for a price point I don't really have a problem telling you guys how much I paid um but for half a syringe I paid 280 which is not bad at all especially in Los Angeles I'm gonna link the place down below I'm gonna link the girls Instagram because she did such an amazing job I'm so happy with how Clara shaped my lips I'll do a close-up of my lips remember they are swollen but um, just so you get a little bit of an idea of what they look like after I'll probably show you guys what they look like tomorrow and then I'm gonna do like the full two weeks so you can see them actually settled into my lips so I'll see you guys tomorrow we'll see if there's any bruising and I'll check back in with you okay you guys so it's day two um they are a bit swollen still I have some bruising happening right here and a little bit underneath yesterday they swelled up really really big and they look like balloons like it was it was kind of fun, but I was like, ah. So um, I just iced them. Um, yeah, by the time I woke up, they went down so much. Um, but the bruising is just kind of now starting today. So um, it could take a few days to go away. It really just depends on the individual person. Uh, so I will keep giving you updates. But here is day two after a half syringe of Juvederm Ultra Plus XC. injections what's up guys I am back and it has been let me check it has been a week and three days since I got my lips done as you can see the swelling has gone down a lot there is no more bruising um, but I'm really happy with the results I feel like when you see your lips swollen and they go down you're like oh like I miss how big they were 
because it's just kind of fun to have them. You're like, oh my gosh, did I even get any filler? And it's like, yes, you have filler. Like, they still look different than they did before. They are just not as swollen. Um, but I think they look really nice. My top lip definitely is bigger than it was before, and that makes me super happy. See, like, when I, when I smile, I still have a little pout, which I wanted. So I'm really happy with how they turned out.